Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I'm so excited to be sitting down for today's video because it's been a while since I've done an all drugstore makeup look and do you notice anything different about the sound? I have a new microphone. I finally got one. I saw your complaints and I'm sorry it's taken me this long to get a microphone, but I hope the sound is a little bit better for you guys today. So I wanted to sit down and film this look that I did back in September. It was like super 90s and like grungy and that was just kind of how I was feeling today. Plus I wanted to sit down and just like chit chat and just kind of like update you guys on some stuff going on in my life right now. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and also get ready with me today, then please keep watching. Hello. Baby. Baby. Have you ever had a Viali before? No, that's what my papa always used to get. I got a plain Viali toasted with butter. That's what my papa used to get. Is that right? Yeah. That made those how to eat. <laughs> that's good. And then I got a plain bagel toasted with cream cheese just in case. Ooh. I ate both of them. I'm still hungry. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> <laughs> so to start off today's look, I'm using the CoverGirl Blurring Primer. So I still have a little bit of a tan from my trip. So I think CoverGirl M40 should be good. This is definitely my favorite drugstore foundation. It's the one that I like the best at the moment. This is the True Blend Matte Foundation. I love a good matte foundation. So, like I said, I have a little bit of a tan. Should be good. Before I went away, I did a spray tan, and it's so crazy because I feel like, don't quote me on this, and still wear your sunscreen, but I feel like whenever I do a spray tan before, I can't find the brush that I want before I go away, my skin, like I don't burn. Like I don't get like sunburn. So obviously I am i didn't get that, that tan. I definitely had, I definitely was a little tanner, but then I got sick and I feel like it took most of my color away. But yeah, like the first two days, my boyfriend got is Italian, so he gets like super, super like crazy dark. And he got like really burnt the first two days and um, it was really cloudy, so we really didn't wear that much sunblock, which isn't good, wear your sunblock. And he got like burnt and I didn't, and I don't know if it was like hidden under the tan or whatever, but no, the whole trip I like was really, really pale underneath my tan and I didn't get sunburned. So I'm wondering if it like creates like a barrier between like your skin and the product. I don't know. That's like what I think because I always do my tans before I go away and it's only because like when I was younger I used to just like bake in the sun and my skin gets naturally like really really dark in um, the summer and on trips but I don't like to sit and bake in the sun like I used to because you know getting older and we gotta take care of our skin so the spray tans always help in my opinion. So speaking of the trip we were supposed to go for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we were supposed to leave on Sunday. So on Saturday, we were having like just the best time ever. It was like our first time spending more than like two full days like in a row together because he works literally every single day, like all day. So we we're like, you know, like this trip's gonna show us like if we can really like handle each other for like that much time. And by Saturday, we were like, there's no way we can leave on Sunday. Um, so we ended up extending it till Monday. And then on Sunday, same thing. We were like, you know what, let's just stay one more day. So we checked the flights. And since we already paid the change fee, for the flights, um, and it was like less than 24 hours, it was only $9 difference to change our flights. So, I mean, how could we not, how could we not stay an extra day? So, it was amazing, it was literally the best trip ever, and I've been to Atlanta so many times, and you know, normally if you were to ask me would I wanna go for that many days, I would be like no, because I've just been there so many times, but we literally had the best time. So it was amazing. It was really, really nice. And we were able to handle each other for eight nights, seven nights, seven nights in a row. So that's a good sign. So let me know how my sound is sounding in this video. I finally got a microphone. I've seen your complaints. So I'm still getting over being sick. I had the flu. 
and it was a bad one. Let me tell you, it was, I don't remember ever being that sick. I called my mom at like 6 a.m. I think it was Saturday morning thinking I had to go to the hospital because I was taking so much Advil and my temperature just kept going up and up and I was shivering and then sweating and shivering and sweating and it was just an absolute freaking nightmare. I'm using my beautiful bronze by LA Girl. This used to be like my, ooh, that's disgusting. It just exploded in my hand, hold on. So yeah, it was a rough couple of days. I'm still taking Advil and I'm still on my medicine and I'm still definitely not 100%. But honestly, it's like getting sick, as much as I hate it, it like changes my perspective on life. I feel like everyone needs like, not to get sick, but like, you know what I mean? To appreciate the things that you take for granted every day. Like when I had strep throat like two months ago, I remember I was kind of like in a funk and then once I felt better, I was like, I had this like newfound energy because I was like, oh my God, I just want to be able to swallow and not be in pain, so. You know, you take for granted a lot of simple things and getting sick just reminds you of how grateful you have to be for, you know, just for being healthy. So I did a full in-depth contour highlight video. Even though I'm using different products, drugstore products today, it's like the same techniques and stuff. So if anyone is a beginner and wants to learn more in depth, go check out that video. So next I'm taking the Creamy Beige Concealer and I like to just like put it in my hand first, that way I don't do too, too much product. I probably could have used like a one shade darker, but it's okay. So speaking of Bahamas, I briefly mentioned in my video I posted yesterday, for my mom's birthday every year I always take her to the Bahamas, it's like her favorite place on earth. So I had the trip planned with her before I even ended up going with my boyfriend um, last or two weeks ago. So we leave on the t February 20th, so me, my mom, and my sister are gonna go for just four nights. So it's gonna be really nice. Is it four nights? Yeah, four nights. So I'm excited for that, that should be good. I love the Bahamas. I've been there pretty much every year for as long as I can remember. Like growing up, that was like the only place we would ever go on vacation. My mom is just still obsessed. And honestly, the people there are just so nice and it's just like a guaranteed good time. So if anyone's looking for a good place to go, I definitely highly recommend the Bahamas, Paradise Island. When we were leaving, the taxi driver showed us that they had like this pink sand beach I don't know the exact name of the island that it is on, but I really want to go there. I saved the name of it and I took pictures, um, like screenshot of the pictures and stuff, because that would be so cool. Like it was all pink sand and they said it's, it gets like that because of the coral. So I've never seen that before, it was so beautiful. Definitely not looking forward to getting back on a plane though. I get so like skeeved out because it's like all recycled air, if you think about it. I'm gonna bring my Lysol spray and spray everything. You know, I really try my best to avoid getting sick and I don't know, I guess I have a weaker immune system, which stinks, but you know what? I wouldn't change it because I love to travel and you know, not everything's always gonna go smooth. So to set my under eyes, I'm gonna take this CoverGirl True Blend Mineral Loose Powder. And I'm not gonna really bake, I'm just gonna take some with this Real Techniques brush and just like lightly pat under my eyes. So you just wanna make sure you blend it all out. Oops. A little bit more than I had thought. But yeah, just like very lightly. It has like a pretty like glow to it. I've never used this powder before, so I wanted to use just like a little bit, not like go crazy. It has like a really like glowy finish, I like it. Not like too glowy, but like luminous looking. Mm, yeah, like it, cool. You can really screw up um, your makeup if the concealers and the powders don't go well together. I've done it before, of course I did it when I um, was on a photo shoot and I was doing my own makeup and I decided really smart to try a new combination. <laughs> And yeah, it ended up backfiring. I had to wash my whole face off and redo it, so. I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Mm -hmm. Drench my face. And then, just kind of push everything together. So believe it or not, this is gonna sound crazy, but I do not have a bronzer. A matte drugstore bronzer. 
I had a bunch, but you know what? I got rid of so much stuff. I must have gotten rid of it. So um, I'm just gonna use a physician's formula powder just to set my nose contour. Which color is this? DC1 powder. So I'm just gonna use that right over the sides. I always use like a powder like this over the nose contour anyway, so it shall do for now. And I'm also gonna bronze up my cheekies, my cheekies with the same one, because we don't have a matte bronzer. It's not even dark, but it should be fine. Mm. Alright, I'll use it for now, and then I can always go in with like a shimmery, I have some shimmery bronzers in front of me. How do I? Out of all the makeup I have, not have a matte bronzer. That's really actually pretty pathetic. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw, I posted a video yesterday on my brows. They are not filled in right now. I filmed a video on how I like groom, shape, and tint them at home. And I've been doing this at home forever, and it's just amazing. So I'm just gonna barely fill them in. I'm gonna use the Morphe Java Micro Brow Pencil just to fill in certain areas. And let me tell you, doing everything without nails, it's like life-changing. Like last night I was on answering comments and I used to get super frustrated typing with my nails because I'd have to use like the palms, the palms, the tips of my fingertips with the nails and it was like super hard. I would always press the wrong keys and I'm like one of those nerds that like I remember in computer class you guys probably don't even have computer class anymore but when I was in elementary school we had computer class where we, there would be like typing and I would always win I would always be like the quickest typer in the class and I was like so proud of it so yeah she's back <laughs> so honestly just by doing like the tinting and everything at home it cuts your brow time like having to fill them in in half a hundred percent it really makes your life easier so Definitely check out my last video. I'm gonna use a little bit of the NYX cake powder. So it's my grandma's 85th birthday in March this year, and we're planning like a family cruise. She's wanted to go to Alaska her whole life. It's been like a dream of hers. So we're trying to figure out like dates and everything for that. So if any of you guys have been on one before, let me know like what cruise line you did and if you recommend, like I know there's a couple different ones, but like I said, my whole family is going and we're in the works of planning it now, so I would love like any suggestions. I've always also wanted to go there. I'm really, really excited, so it should be a really fun trip. So I can't wait to take her away and spoil her for a week. She deserves the world. She's my best friend. I love her so much. Seriously. My queen. And then we're gonna use the model in a bottle, like I used in my last video. This is really, really good for holding your brows in place. I forgot to mention in my last video, like, if you can't, if it's not available and you can't get it or you just don't really want to invest in it right now, I don't know how much it is. Literally, a spoolie and hairspray or gel does the exact same thing, so just a little reminder. Alright, so let's pull you in closer. So for today's look, I'm using the LA Girl Fierce and Wild Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. It's brand new, never been touched. Well, I mean, I touched these shades just to, you know, make sure that they were gonna be good. This is the look that I'm recreating today because it was one of my favorite looks I ever did. I really have not worn makeup makeup in like weeks, I feel like. On vacation, I barely even wore makeup. So I wanna do this look today because it's just everything in my opinion. And I really think you guys are gonna love it too. So I'm starting to feel a little nauseous, so if my energy goes in, I apologize. So first I'm gonna pick up like this reddish color right here, and we're gonna apply that right here in my crease. I was in the mood for like something dramatic today. Dramatic, but like still me. So as you can see, I'm putting this color like really close to my brow up here and then kind of swooping down. It's gonna be like a very like elongated look, like that. I'm then grabbing this shade right here with a smaller blending brush and that's gonna go right in the crease.
I'm then grabbing this nude shade right here, and this is gonna go all over my lid. I'm gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush just to make it a little bit more precise. With a pencil brush and that same dark matte, I'm gonna go right up against that line of nude that I just did, just to accentuate the crease. Taking a little bit of the matte black and just going over right here. And then with the blending brush, just like very lightly gonna blend. So next I'm gonna take like this eyebrow brush and the darkest matte brown and I'm gonna start applying this where I would apply my eyeliner. Because I want the bottom to connect to the top, I'm gonna do it like this, watch. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the matte black and something with a straight edge. So now you can see how the bottom and then the top is like somewhat connected right now. We obviously want it to be straight. So what I'm gonna do is hold this, the diagonal of how I want it. Just go right up against the line. Like that. That's like the easiest way because when you wanna do an extended like dramatic line, you always wanna have it like connect to the bottom so that way it really makes your eyes look elongated. This palette isn't the best as far as pigmentation, it is my first time using it. Could be better. So I'm going in with a pencil brush and the color Taboo from the ColourPop palette. We're gonna switch it on up a bit. And I'm just gonna go over that and start smudging it up so it looks more, you know, like blended and not so precise. I'm also grabbing Velveteen for like the inner part. It's a little bit lighter brown and again just smudging it up So I'm gonna go in with the LA girl fine line liquid liner before I do any more blending It's all about steps for this look So this liner is actually really good. It's my first time using it, and I really like it. It has a really short tip. I don't know if you guys can see. Short tip, so it makes it a little bit easier to draw the line, which is cool. So now we're gonna go back in with the Taboo shade and start smudging above it again. And you can see we're gonna now start connecting the smudge to the crease that we did before, like this. I'm gonna go back in with a blending brush and the color Taboo and just blend out. I'm gonna grab a little bit of the color Spyglass, which is the matte black, apply it right on the edge. So now for the bottom, we are gonna take a pencil brush and the color Bobbles, I don't know. <laughs> and we're gonna start applying this on the lower lash line. And this palette is like a million times better, guys. It's probably like close to the same price as well. Velveteen. And then the color Hot is like an orangey shade. I'm just gonna start blending that underneath. And we're gonna line our lower lash line with this Milani eyeliner in black. For lashes, I'm using the Double Up 113s. I feel like when I'm that close to the camera, I can't like chat with you guys, and I wanted to, you know, make this like a chatty get ready with me. Um, so I'm gonna pull it back for the mascara because the hard part is over. Um, it would have taken probably half the amount of time if I used the ColourPop one to begin with. But I was really trying to make that one work because I'm like, whenever I can't make something work, I like have this like, I don't know, this like urge to just try and figure it out. But obviously it just wasn't working for me. But anyways, for mascara, I'm using the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior. It's my favorite drugstore mascara. It's actually my favorite mascara like in general. I'm gonna do a little powder underneath so I can do bottom mascara. 
I have this new ColourPop highlighter I wanted to try. It's a big boy. While my bottom lashes are drying. And I'm going to highlight my nose. I'm going to keep it dull. And I'm going to do a little bit under my brows. Just a little. Right in the tear duct. Let's see if this bronzer will bronze up my face. So, craziest thing ever. So, my boyfriend got this. Yeah, this is perfect, by the way. It's bronzing me up just enough. Um, so, my boyfriend got the, his new buzzer in the mail. And obviously, it's made for, like, your face. But it's good for, like, coarse hair. And you can use it wet or dry. And it is pricey. But I went out and bought one for myself because he let me, like, test it out on, like, my lady parts. <laughs> There's cleaner with it, don't worry, he didn't use it on his face like right after. And it made it so smooth, and there's like no way for it to cut you, and sometimes like, you know if you shave down and then up, you get like, um, like razor bumps, or like it just gets, for me, I get like irritated. None of that. So it was like the coolest thing I've ever tried in my life, I had to tell you guys. I was telling my assistant earlier, because mine just came in the mail, and she was like, oh, life changing, and I'm like, no, literally you have no idea, it made it like super, super baby smooth and I just had to share it with you guys so I'll list it below. I'm sure there's other ones that are much cheaper that are like a similar idea but who would have thought using a man's beard razor would be like the best thing ever. I don't know whenever I find out like random weird things you know I have to tell you guys. So when I did this look back in September I used my new lipsticks um, so I'm gonna use them even though they're not drugstore they're just so amazing and they are almost all out of stock and they won't be restocking so we're gonna use that for today's look. It's the Luna Liner. And then Libra line, uh, Libra Lipstick. And it just goes with this look, like, just too perfectly. How could I not? And just Ombre. And then for blush, Sweet Pea by Flower, my go-to. Even when I'm not doing a drugstore look, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna do my hair like I did for the photo that I took also, because with this look and like a slick pony, like watch, this is it regular. And then once the pony is in, it just like slicks it back even more. I am gonna do like a medium pony. And as you can see, like in here, my hair is, my scalp is lighter, so I'm gonna go in with and some spray to fix it. So I'll show you guys what I do. And then I'm just gonna use some hairspray as I go. We love a nice tight ponytail. Instant facelift, guys. I've been going through a lot of stuff and um, I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been following me for a while, obviously you guys know I just did the eBay thing where I um, sold a lot of my clothes and I donated all the profits to two different charities in Australia. So the reason I liked doing it on eBay because I started everything literally at like a cent and then people just would bid on things. Um, but it got frustrating because a couple items just no one ever paid for. So that's what happens on eBay is people can bid and then they just don't end up paying. So a while ago I had a website um, that I used to post stuff on like we're talking like five years ago. Um, it was like shopcarlyscloset.com. And I'm gonna be updating it with tons of stuff because I am just gonna do a huge cleanse. I'm like cleansing my life. Quality over quantity is my new motto. Um, I had some stuff that went on in my personal life the past like week and it was like honestly like earth shattering. That's how crazy it was so you know starting to look at things a little bit differently and I always say like I don't want anyone to go through things like I wish everyone could just you know live a very happy peaceful life honestly I really believe that but I also feel like the hardest things that we do go through like shape us and mold us into who we are so I think it is necessary for growth and that's where I'm at right now so I am like ridding my life of any negative influences um, by the way I'm taking this edge booster and I'm just gonna start smoothing it also just because it's not staying with the hairspray and like it's so annoying I always have like this point up here that never wants to be smooth it's something to think about quality over quantity obviously I have a shit ton of everything in my life and that's never been my motto um, but the older I get the more I realize 
what's important. So yeah, anyway, so I'm going through a lot of stuff ton of stuff and like so much of my things have tags still on them so many things that i buy are like no longer available anywhere else like it could be from like a year ago two years ago three who knows even three years ago and again it's still brand new with tags and stuff so i'm gonna have so much stuff coming up on that site so definitely stay tuned i'll let you know when it's going up and everything's gonna be pretty much affordable because a lot of my stuff is affordable i might throw in some designer um like bags and stuff that i obviously don't use anymore in the mix but um but yes yeah, so i just wanted to let you guys know about that as well and i like to pull out my baby hairs because my hairline goes far back and it looks even worse with my scalp being a little bit lighter so i always take a little spoolie just like my eye brow one and i'll just like put my baby hairs like over here so i'll just like brush them out So I found out about this edge booster from Nicole Guerrero, mom. Mom, I miss you so much. Um, and it's like changed my life. It's so good. It's good for the baby hairs. Like that. I was um, with my dad yesterday. Uh, was it yesterday? Two days ago? What's today? No, two days ago. He was over and he was like, you have an upside down mustache on your forehead. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what does that even mean? I think it's because my baby hairs. He said it looked like an upside down mustache. I was like, oh, thanks, dad. Comes up with the weirdest things. Speaking of my dad, I know a lot of people have been asking. He's doing well. He went back about a month ago and the cancer did not come back. So he has liver cancer, so they said that it'll always end up coming back. But as long as it's not back, he doesn't have to do chemo. If anyone's going to beat it, it's him. He's so strong. So for everyone asking, thank you. He is doing, he's doing the best he could. And he is one of the most positive people, like, I've ever met in my entire life. Like, he's been through so much. And, like, he always just keeps, like, a good state of mind, which is super important, especially with, um, you know, go going through stuff like that, going through hard things. I think the state of mind and like your mentality has a lot to do with your health as well. And, like not sitting around dwelling, stressing over it is, I think, helping him as well. So he's working and he's keeping busy and he has a new girlfriend which he's so happy with. So he's doing really well and I'm super happy about that. And then what I like to do is I have these gray away spray. I just like to spray it a little bit because like my hairline is like, ugh, I don't know if it's from wearing my hair back too much or I don't know what, it, what the hell it is, but it's just really thin. So I like to just spray it like that and you can see it just fills it in, in a little bit. Oh, my closet is almost done. They are coming to paint hopefully tomorrow, he said. He just texted us while I was actually getting ready. So that's exciting. It's really just the paint. And then my dad was doing my door for me and we're doing like a fingerprint lock, which is all like hooked up. He just needs to, um, I guess, like attach the wires. So I'm hoping he can come over one day this week to get that done. So that way I can give you guys like the full tour. So should I do the braid or should I leave it in a pony? Kind of like the pony. I think I'm gonna keep it in the pony. Just cause like with all my highlights, I like how it looks. All right, I'm gonna get dressed really quick. I will be right back. So this is the final result. I'm so obsessed with this makeup look. I've done it a bunch of times already and I knew I had to film it. That way in a year from now, if I forgot how to do it, I would have this video to look back on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really loved all of the products that I used today besides that one eyeshadow palette like I mentioned, but I love drugstore products. If you have the right brushes and the right techniques, you can really make any products work for you. So I hope this video was helpful for anyone who wanted to try this look out and I hope you enjoyed. I love you guys so much. It was so nice to just chit chat with you guys today and I'm so happy I'm feeling better and I promise lots of videos coming your way. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.